Hello ladies, this is Minnie's Crafty Shop and I have made another journal and I wanted to share it with y'all and uh, tell y'all a little bit about it. Uh, this is a manila folder that just like the last one, the butterfly one I made, I did a couple of them up and I thought they turned out really pretty. I did this uh, punch on the outside of this one uh, and the inside and I just thought it made it look so pretty. The name of my book is Vintage Ladies Junk Journal. As you can see, I have the Vintage Ladies on there and they're throughout the book. I love Vintage Ladies and uh, I just thought these turned out so pretty and I like the colors of them and so I tried to incorporate that with my book. This book has 62 pages front and back filled with uh, tuck spots, uh, tea dyed journaling pages, uh, ephemera, pockets, lace, and just all kinds of goodies. and. I hope y'all enjoy it, and my little lace right here, this is just some of that um, seam binding tape I took and tea tied, tied it up, and I'll show you the back of this. My sister gifted me, uh, my birthday was a couple weeks ago, she gifted me with some stickers and stuff, and I decided to incorporate some of those in my book, so I thought this was really pretty. I, I stained it up and put it on the back, and I just loved what it said, and anyway. So let's get started. This book was a lot of fun to make. I enjoyed it. I always have a good time making all my books, but I just love the, the creative process of it and just the way they turn out. Um, these are just some a book a stamp that I, I put on uh, a page book, and I just kind of left it like this so that way uh, somebody can take and use it for another purpose. I always kind of like to do that in my books because some people have different ideas about what they want to do. And I love my little papers that I use. This is a beautiful, um, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of these. Bag, that's what it is, it's bag, Margie. Uh, that has the vintage ladies on it and here's another one of the vintage ladies. And this is just a little thing, a piece of paper I tee dyed up. Of course, y'all know that my mother helps me so much with all my processing and doing things, and she's so uh, talented, and um, her name is Vintage Arch Treasures. I'm sure a lot of y'all are friends with her. Uh, she, I tried to get her to make books, and she has made some uh, junk journals, and she has shows them on her uh, YouTube pages, but... She's the one that really inspired me. And if this fly, there's a fly, of course, buzzing around while I'm trying to film this. So he's going to be along for the ride. So y'all just enjoy him as much as he's irritating me. Um, anyway, so I like the way this turned out. This is some um, green uh, food coloring I used on some papers. And these are all, I love this little picture here. What did we ever do before soap operas? Oh my gosh. Soap operas aren't even really popular anymore. It's all reality TV, isn't it? Anyway, here is another page. And I love this. My t uh, sister gave me this too. It's called you, you Treasures of the Heart. And I just love this. It's kind of like one of those rub things. And I rubbed that on there and it turned out pretty good. I love this picture of this lady and like she's going on a trip. Some more vintage lady stuff. This paper here. I do have some digital downloads and uh, I'm not for sure where I got them from. I've had them for a while so uh, I don't recall where I got them from. But And then some scrapbooking paper that I did buy that I put with my, my book. And these are some more little goodies that I did up. Uh, this is some more book paper that I took and add some lace to it and I put some of that puzzle glue on it and it kind of gives it a little sheen. Of course, y'all know I love my corsets and I'm try to, I don't always put them in my books because it just depends. This paper always turns out so pretty that when I dye it up, I have a really neat, um, pan that I use and it, it does that. This is a beautiful page. I love this turquoise color. Isn't that pretty? 
And this is another little saying that my um, sister gave me. And of course I put a hymnal in there and that little stamp's cute. And I just love this paper and the colors and I took a doily, a paper doily and I put this, uh, get away fly, I put this um, napkin on there and it's just, I just thought it turned out cute. I love the colors of that and it's kind of different lines on there. And that right there I put through my embossing and did that. It was really pretty. I thought it turned out really gorgeous. Love this paper right here. I love it. It looks so vintage. This is the center and I have some little jewels here. I put some green stain around this. I've tried to incorporate some green on mine because a lot of this I had green in it. So I had some green uh, ranger, I think is who puts out that stain. Here's a little tag I did up. And I did do some sewing. Uh, my mother, um, I bought my mother's sewing machine a couple years ago for Christmas. And she did use it some and then she didn't use it, and I, she gave me her old sewing machine. This is one of my favorite sayings. So I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. I just love that saying. Anyway, she um, told me that, well, you know what? Why don't you see if you like that sewing machine? And so I tried it out when I went to her house this last weekend, and I fell in love with it. It's computerized, and she said, you know what? Just take that sewing machine home. Bring me the old one back. I don't use it that much, isn't it pretty? And so that's what I did. I brought it home and I'm starting to use it and I was just amazed at how easy, I know a lot of y'all do a lot of sewing on your journals and I wanted to start doing some of that. And I was just amazed at how easy that was to use compared to the old sewing machines. I told my mom, it was just fantastic. Technology just amazes me. See how I sewed on this one? And this is actually an envelope, and I took and sewed on it, and just it's just stuck on there, and then did sewing here. And then here's some more little fun paper writing stuff. And then here, me and the fly are having a fun time showing y'all this book. There's another one of those vintage ladies. And this right here is just an envelope, and I just thought it was so pretty. And it just kind of went with this this um, color here. I like this kind of a coppery color. And I, of course, I love that color. And then I just put some buttons and some beautiful lace there in that tuck spot. And this right here is just another little tuck spot. And that's a mirror some paper that I've vintaged up. This is so pretty. I just love this type of paper. I don't know, it's just something about it. It just speaks to me. This right here, little tag I did. Take these off. It's turned out really cute. I put like a little pocket on there. And I also did a little, um, this is some tissue paper I put on there. And I made that little heart. But I thought it turned out really cute. I love this paper too the feel of it and these this right here could be a little tuck spot I put a little heart here and you could just kind of like tuck some stuff under there it's the back of that bag and I just put some lace there and you can use that as a tuck spot and then here's another one of those vintage ladies so pretty I love those dresses but I mean I love them but I don't think I could have wore those corsets oh my goodness no and the back of the book and it says Mimi's Crafty Shop. Well, all right, ladies, thank y'all so much for watching. I will have this for sale in my Etsy shop. So I appreciate everything and I love y'all's uh, comments and everything that y'all always comment on all my, all my videos that I put on there. Thank y'all so much and y'all have a blessed day.